guys. My name is Andre. I'm uh, an aircraft maintenance technician. I've uh, been working as an aircraft maintenance technician for um, the last 15 years. And uh, we're sitting in a Boeing 777, Boeing 777. And I uh, just want to talk to you about things of becoming an aircraft maintenance technician, maintaining aircraft and components, aircraft engines, the airframe itself, and the avionics systems. Okay, so for an aircraft maintenance technician, the typical workday can be either 8, 10, or 12 hour shift. For me personally, I was like um, 5 years old, just looking, seeing an aircraft flying above. I've always been excited and just fascinated by an aircraft. And uh, by the time I was a teenager, maybe 13 years old, I decided I wanted to be an aircraft engineer or an aircraft maintenance technician. Reading is very important. We do a lot of reading. We have to read the aircraft maintenance manual, the troubleshooting manual. There's a lot of technical publications, service bulletins that you have to read. Normally you have to attend a FAA, a school that is approved by the Federal Aviation Administration. Uh, the program normally takes about uh, five semesters. To get the airframe and power plant license, you have like a general course. You have a power plant one, where you're dealing with re reciprocating uh, and turboprop engines. Uh, turbine or uh, power plant 2 where you're dealing with turbine engines or uh, turbofan engines then you have airframe 1 airframe 2 and if you want to get an associate's degree you spend an additional one or two semesters and then you can get a associate's of science degree in aviation maintenance management after you complete the FAA required courses airframe power plant and general then you're eligible to sit the Federal Aviation Administration written exam and there's also a oral and practical examination that you have to take with a designated mechanic examiner. Once you pass your written, your oral and practical, you'll be issued a airframe and power plant license by the Federal Aviation Administration and you are licensed to go and work an aircraft. Reading is very important. As an aircraft maintenance technician, you do a lot of reading. As I said, you're going you're gonna to make repairs to the aircraft by going into the aircraft maintenance manual. If it's a system where you need to do some troubleshooting, you are going to go in the fault isolation manual or the troubleshooting uh, manual. So it's a lot of reading. There are a lot of different technical literatures that you have to abide by. Pretty much they are like the Bible we use. Reading is very important. Depending on where you're working, math is also very important. As for um, science and technology, the aircraft, they keep evolving and you keep getting new electronic automated systems. So having good computer skills, will, it's very important. Number one priority in aviation is safety. Safety is paramount. One advice I would give to you is that your driver's license is going to be very important to get a job. So in the hiring process, they are going to look at your driving record. So it's very important for you not to get speeding tickets or excessive moving violations, a suspended driver's license. And another important thing is there's a zero tolerance for drugs. You're randomly drug tested. Just an as, as an example, I was drug tested, uh, randomly drug tested four times in uh, 2020. And 2021, it's now uh, February. And uh, 
I have been drug tested twice. I have to be mentally sharp and drugs will affect your ability to perform. So. I get the question a lot about, okay, you're an aircraft maintenance technician or aircraft mechanic, an aircraft engineer. So what kind of salary do you get? Now, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. The salary is very good when you work with the major airlines. Um, for the major airlines in the US, you're looking at a starting salary of say 70,000, and that goes in the six figures as high as uh, 140,000, depending on which airline you work for. My thing to you is uh, go on Google and do a salary search for aviation maintenance technician and This is a very important aspect of aviation. You know, there, no man stands alone. Teamwork makes the dreamer. For an example, if you're gonna remove and replace an, an engine from an aircraft, you're looking at, at a team of five to 10 different aircraft mechanics or technicians. So you have to work in teams for safety reasons, safety purpose, a lot of communication, because the aircraft systems, you can get hurt. So it's very important to work in teams and expect to work with others. So. I want to encourage you to develop your team working skills or your ability to work with others. You're going to have to work with people of different race, people of different social class, people from other countries, people of different gender. So be prepared to work with people of all different social economic backgrounds. Has technology changed your job? What changes do you see in the future? Okay, so technology has definitely changed uh, the job. For instance, um, when I started, if I wanted to get a section of the aircraft maintenance manual to do some repair, I would go to a computer and I would print that paper. Um, Fast forward to uh, 15 years later, the company and you know, they issue an um, aircraft ma maintenance technician. I have a tablet, so I have a, 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 a vir virtual uh, private network or Wi Fi provided by the company, so I can move, go to the aircraft, and get all the information I need. Uh, aircraft maintenance manual, I might I need to look at the IPC, which is an illustrated parts catalog, because this tells me what part is effective for the aircraft, because you have to verify that. So, the, 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 the there, there have been a lot of apps that has been developed. So, the computing aspect of how you get the job done, how you get the information, that has definitely changed and will continue to change in the future. So I encourage you to build on your computer skills. That's a very interesting question, you know, because there have been times when I use my airframe and power plant license. So even though I'm licensed as an aircraft mechanic, that has given me opportunity to work on diesel trucks, um, at one point, I was hired to work on gantry, tra gantry cranes, which gantry cranes are cranes that offload the large the containers from ships. Also, I have friends who actually work in places like uh, amusement parks, uh, Disney World, Six Flags, because the training you get, you're going to be trained like you're an electrician, you're a plumber, you're a part engineer. So. You get a wide variety of different technical skills training that are incorporated in being an aircraft maintenance technician. You're gonna get training to be to do composite repair, sheet metal repair, as I said, electrical systems, mechanical system, avionic system, radars. I have friends who actually work for power plant companies because 
Some power plant, plant companies actually use steam turbine to, to, to turn the generator to generate the electricity at wherever you are right now. Summer times are normally very busy. Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving, where the load factor is very high, but you can expect to be very busy in the month. Numerous opportunities for advancement. For example, we are working, after you have so much years as an aircraft uh, maintenance technician, you could get promoted as a maintenance control technician where they're in a maintenance control center. So pretty much that's one position you can get uh, promoted to. Um, if you're interested in becoming a, a supervisor or a manager, after you get uh, a certain amount of years and also a certain amount of specific aviation training, you have the option to become a lead mechanic, a supervisor or a manager. Um, other opportunities in engineering where you could get a job as a maintenance analyst, you could get a job as a reliability analyst, you could get a job in, in, in dealing with parts. So there are just numerous avenues you can head as an aircraft mechanic or technician. There's opportunities to branch off and do avionics, shop component repairs. So you could go in the, just the engine shop, just work at engines if you want, electronics, all the different uh, components. So there's many different aspects of uh, aviation and um, whatever interests you, if your company offers it or you're heading that direction or you find a company that offers what you want. So there's just many different things you can do. Okay guys, so aviation maintenance technician, it's a very rewarding career and uh, as I said, read and uh, stay drug free and remember, your driver's license is also very important. I'm looking forward to see you guys fixing some airplanes with me, okay? Take care.